In this video, we show how to make a saw groove on a 45 degree angle with an aggregate, like you might need to do for a uh, corner cabinet, for the back panel on a corner cabinet. Well, so the first step is to go and make sure that in tool parameters and outfits, we have uh, this tool um, configured. So we'll start off in tool parameters. And we'll go under saws in phase one. And we want to make sure that we have 0, 0360 activated. Okay, we do have it here, and we have a tool already configured. Uh, we're going to use the saw in X. We're going to make this saw groove in the X direction. If you don't have this turned on, this 0, 0360 section may not even be there at all. Just go under options and configure, go under saws, and click the checkbox for 0, 0360. And uh, you may have to put in the high level password. Um, to get into the configure section at all. So we're good here. Uh, we want to make sure that we have tool 5005 uh, in some tool spot in the outfit. So we'll go over to outfits and we do have this tool up here in this, this spot here but uh, again if you needed to drop that tool into a certain position just go find it we can see here by the red that we've already got it loaded in some position, so it won't let us load that tool again. Um, but if we needed to do that, um, if it wasn't loaded, we can remove it and just drop it in that spot. Save it. And now we can go and start up a new program. All right, let's start with some dimensions um, that we might have for an, for an upper back panel. Let's go with, say, uh, 32 by 12. Okay, we'll click on face one, and to make the saw groove, we go over to saws, and we're gonna click on, we have three different options. Um, we have saw X, saw Y, and saw oriented. Oriented lets us set an angle for the saw blade itself, so let's choose this one. And we're gonna start at, um, we're gonna start an inch off this side and go an inch past this side of the panel, this end. So our X initial is length of the panel plus one, thinking parametrically here. And we're going to start off the back side of the panel, which is height of the panel, or H, minus 3 quarters. And our alpha angle, now the angles, it's, this is the direction of travel. And the angles in Genesis Evolution uh, follow the compass. East is 0, uh, west would be 180. So we're going to move in this direction, which is western, westerly, if you will. So our alpha angle is 180. The angle of the saw is 45. The module is the total length of the groove. So if we start an inch off um, beyond the length of the panel and travel an inch past the zero point, then that total length uh, of the groove is length of the panel plus two inches. And our depth is a half inch deep. And here we go and select the tool. And by default, the integrated saw on the drill head comes up, but we just click here and we choose this other uh, saw that we have set up. This is our aggregate. We'll select that and hit OK. And now we see a saw groove and, and the view that we're in, this general view, is just a top-down view only. But if we were to go to the 3D view, take the panel and rotate it on its edge, then now you can see that that saw groove is on a 45 degree angle. Um, you can even see where the where the saw the, the kerf of the saw begins and ends. Um, so you can see that we've gone an inch. We started an inch past the edge, and we've gone an inch uh, beyond the other edge. And of course, this is parametric as well because we we've, we're using the parametrics in Genesis. So if we went back and we changed uh, and we made this a different size panel, then everything would adjust to those new dimensions. So once we have this set up, we can drop this same groove into any uh, into any other of our, our parts or programs. We could even make it a sub-program if we wanted. Uh, but it's also just as easy to come in here and just copy this line of code to the clipboard, drop it in another program, and put it in all the other programs we need. So this is really all there is to, to making a, a saw groove on a 45 degree angle.